Hello there, I'm a member of the training team, and I'd like to show you how to set up our system to work with one of the merchant services that we are integrated with. To reach the configuration page, I'm going to click on configuration, then third party services, then merchant configuration. Select the merchant vendor that you have signed up with from the drop down labeled merchant. Enter your ID and key in their respective fields. Be sure to check that an extra space wasn't added in the front or back of the code if you copy and pasted the code. The date start field is only needed if you do not want to start transferring payments in the merchant vendor immediately. The date here would be the date you wish to start the transfers. You will see a list of all your users in the space below. Select a login that should have access and enter the appropriate clerk key in the right hand column. Once all the code has been entered, you want to go down here and click Save at the bottom of the page. Now let's see how to verify your connection to the merchant service. To check that you have entered the merchant provider ID and keys correctly, go to the scheduler when logged in as a user with the clerk key and select Patient. Come up here to Schedule. and then select a patient. Click the More button below the search fields, and scroll down to the second to last option. This will be the name of the merchant vendor that you configured. Go ahead and click on it. A new window will open, and if it displays a page to save patient info or enter a payment, then your accounts are connected. This screen will look different based upon the vendor that you have chosen. Now, entering in payments will also differ based upon which of the three merchant services companies that you have chosen to use. You should consult with their help pages and support team to learn how to use their system. There is a report that will show all transfers from the merchant vendor into the system. You can access it by going to Reports, up here, then Reconciliation, and then Merchant Transfers. Well, that's all I have to show you in this video. I hope it was helpful to you. If you liked my video, go ahead and click like at the bottom of your help page. Thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful day.